I was reading about the Mediterranean diet, which everyone espouses to be the best. And, you know, it's the fish, it's the that. And people were saying, well, hold on, take a step back, actually. Look what the Mediterraneans do. The meals in which they have are longer. Yeah. And the meals that they have always have family around. Always, So there's yeah. this deliberate slowing down of the day. And then there's also the community and the family element. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's something that I've definitely noticed is family being a core part of the day-to-day life slow living and hospitality and conviviality i mean the friends that i've made here in turin their families always invite me for meals and it's never a case of you know come on over and we'll just make a bit of spaghetti whatever it's an elaborate affair not fancy in terms of it's not some sort of fine dining experience but it's long it's slow it's loud and there's the food is sort of is very loud the food is sort of the side show to the rest of it uh, it's not so much about what you're eating but how you're doing so and i think that's something that again we can forget to do it's really easy to just sort of whack the tv on uh, make a meal very quickly in the microwave and sit down on the sofa and eat but that's inconceivable over here i mean uh, forget all the sort of things about Italians getting upset about pineapple and pizza and all the rest. The main, I mean, they do get upset by that, but the main important, <laughs> very much so. The main important thing is definitely being there together and just taking it slowly. I, a lot of people may have heard of it, but the lovely saying, il dolce far niente, the Italian way of living is just sort of, and again, it's a stereotype, and, but stereotypes come from, from truth. And I've, I've just noticed that even if it's not the same for everyone in Italy, from my point of view, I have just felt very calm this year because of the pace of life. And I can say that for the other, I suppose you'd call them expats who are over here who have been living in Italy for some time. When you speak to them, they just feel calm. You might feel the same way in France. I know France and Italy have differences, but they also have similarities. And one of them is maybe that not everything has to go at a million miles an hour. So in Britain, if we compare Britain and Italy and what you're saying there, then a family aspect's not as central to people's lives. So two people will have children, the children will grow up, they'll go to university, and then they'll go off to separate cities and they'll see them twice a year. Family relationships, I find in the Western world, can be quite difficult. Mm. You know, there's always straining or people are at their throats at different times. What then do the Italians do which is different that smooths over the inevitable cracks that come up in yeah. family? Uh, I think that's a really good question. And first of all, I'll say that there are pros and cons to both approaches. But one of the things that I think is interesting is this year whilst teaching, uh, I was teaching 14 to 19 year olds. A lot of them would want to know about English life. And we would talk about university quite a lot. And they were, by and large, quite shocked that almost everybody in the UK moves away from home to go to university. Um, it's really uncommon for somebody to, let's say, live in Leeds and want to go to Leeds University. They will want to get either as far away from Leeds as possible or at least go to York or Sheffield so that they're not in the same sort of town as they grew up in. But in Italy, nobody does that. Very few, at least. Uh, most people will go to university and stay in their family home whilst they do it. Now, that's partially to do with the concepts such as funding you know we get a university grant or loan in the uk you can afford at that time to move away and it's not necessarily as easy to do so in italy but what it does mean as a sort of side effect is that people stay at home and after you've stayed at home until the age of 28 you probably you're just so used to it why would you move elsewhere you've got your family you know inviting you around for dinners all the time you know it's just it's easy it's comfortable and i think as you said and alluded to, in the UK, maybe people go home for Christmas, maybe for one other occasion, maybe for a wedding, something along those lines. But it's not quite as common to stay at home. People are drawn to the city. People are drawn elsewhere. And family is something that's nonetheless important, but it's not the most important part of a person's future. Whereas I think there's a stereotype as well in Italy of this idea of il mammone, the sort of mummy's boy. And it's quite true. Um, you know, one of my best friends here, he's 29 and he's living at home. And in the UK, you might think, gosh, what's, what's that all about? Why have you chosen to leave? Whereas for him, until he finds his financial stability and independence, he's quite happy living at home uh, where he's got his parents to, you know, 
live with. And it's not because he needs them to cook for them. He's able to cook, but it's because he enjoys it. And I think that's a slight difference. In the UK, I don't think many people would enjoy staying at home for all that long and being denied their freedoms that we learn at university. And if you've not learned that freedom at university, you're probably not going to be aware that you're lacking it. If we were to delve deeper into it, we have the American dream, which is very entrepreneurial, yeah. make as much money as possible. And the, the British dream is probably a bit less, maybe go to a good university, get a graduate job, make 30 yeah. grand and you know try and get into the three figures maybe by the time you're 45. So then yeah. what would be the Italian dream? That's a really good question because from the sort of get-go, I don't think there's necessarily the same possibility to do the graduate schemes, 30k a year, follow on, try and get your uh, big salaries in your 40s. In Italy, the idea of a graduate scheme isn't really, it doesn't really exist as much. And I think because of that, uh, the dream is slightly different. But I think going back to what we've already mentioned, and it's sort of the buzzword here is probably family and having a stable, comfortable life where you are able to live with those you love. Again, could be a generalization, there will be a lot of Italians in cities like Milan and potentially Rome, who are very financially driven. Um, that's not, I'm not saying that Italians aren't financially driven, but I think there's more of a desire to live than there is in the UK, let's say. And if you go to a city such as Naples, I think you'll never be in a city that's more lively. And I mean lively in the sense of both the ambiance and the sounds, but also in the sense that people are really just living. They're not too bothered about things of trivial importance. They're very interested in just living each day peacefully or maybe not so peacefully but just living each day and seizing each day and that's not to say seizing the day by going and doing all the most incredible things in the world but it's just enjoying the simple things you know the aperitif at 6 or 7 p.m the coffee in the morning you know i think ritual and habit comes into it quite a lot i think a lot of the italians i've met uh, profess to being creatures of habit and I think that's part of the dream is just finding what you like and living by it. I suppose it will change generation by generation. But one of the very common things is the ability to stay near your family, to have them look after you and you to look after them. It may come from, you know, the Catholicism that's quite right in the history of Italy, but it comes from all sorts of other things, too. But I think that to answer your question, yeah. Whilst you can very clearly label the American dream and probably to the same extent the British dream, the Italian dream, I think, at least from an external point of view, is a very romanticised one. And its romanticization comes from the fact that it's very simple. And that's not to say that Italians are simple people, but it's to say that it's more achievable to live a peaceful life here, even if it's a very frantic country. 